Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to Civ. And yeah, we are continuing our efforts to be a prosperous nation, uh, to be in tune with the planet and the aliens. And uh, then, yeah, just to see how this game is going to develop. So let's just keep going on new turns. Um, I don't like to see your army over there, friend. Or, well, friend really, those Brazilians. Not exactly that friendly. Um, here we've got another worm, so we are going to try and avoid him. Um, in the meantime, this worker over here, let me see. Where shall I send you? Well, maybe right over here for another farm, sounds like a plan. Uh, you can trade with Red Sun. It's a little risky. It's almost better to go for like Quien or even Ganzoric. Look at that, because that's actually quite a lot of food uh, and all of that. So we'll go on the sea here. Uh, choose production. Let me see here, rocket battery. Again, they, they really want me to do that, but another trade convoy. I think I can do a second one. Yep, yes I can. Uh, so I, I do think that that's important enough. What if we get over here? We can make a mine. That's awesome. Um, this upgrade is done as well. So we are actually going to... Uh, you know what? Roads, yes or no? I will make a road here just in case I need some mobility towards this area. Uh, I think that's actually not a bad idea to actually connect this to my road network. So here we go. Next turn... Brasilia, yeah, stay the hell away from me. We are going to accept her open borders. She, she hasn't made any uh, aggressive moves towards me and having her troops inside my borders might actually help me out. So we're going to accept that. And over here we get a red border now. Uh, you are going to go down there. So that seems okay. Peace treaty expired. We may now declare... Oh, okay, so I was actually safe fr uh, from him for a number of turns. But this is a little bit more dangerous. I'm going to place a few units here in a more defensive position. And yeah, let's be careful. Luckily, we've got a good war chest over here. So we could build units to counter any offensive uh, from our Brazilian opponents. And we, they've already shown not to be very trustworthy. Completed master control. Okay, interesting. On that front, I did see something interesting in the science. Be able to you. Made a drop with no complication. The man who received them bore a strange tattoo on his hand. You receive one covert agent. Interesting. Uh, we will go over here. Thank you. Let me see here. Quest completed. I get an extra covert agent, which I can then assign to... Um, I don't think I've gone here yet, so we'll assign him to McGann. Choose operation. Yeah, just grab some, grab some extra cash for me, just in case I get attacked. I think that's a good idea. A unit needs orders. You will fortify. Trade convoy with... Um, Camp Cascade, yeah, that's a pretty good deal here, not too far away, so that should be alright. And now I, I'm actually wondering if um, if the number of turns it takes to get there has any like real influence on how all of this works. We'll see later. And uh, we are also going to leave the alien drones alone over there. Completed master control. As I've said, I've first playthrough, I have no idea what any of this does. But once I discover a new technology, I'll show you guys something that could be interesting and that I, I think I want to go for. So here we go. Next turn, make me another trade vehicle. That would be nice. Maui and Hina, having seen all the oceans of Earth, raised their eyes to new oceans where they still sail. Orbital coverage around the city is increased by 4. Yeah, we built something called the Stellar Codex, I think. Um, 
choose production let me see here again they want a rocket battery but I'm here for prosperity so ah whatever we'll make one uh, let me see one of two trade routes only so I'll need to make a trade vehicle I think may I may have lost one in the war without really noticing it or something like that um, um, launch complex all or also rocket battery everyone is asking for this so we will do it and we will try to trade with Red Sun there we go you go down hopefully no Kraken to uh, to bother us here one turn for another trade convoy that's looking pretty good and then Sito nursery which should help help with the health but still 10 in the red not good not good I'm not sure what I could do to fix that maybe not expand this aggressively but I actually feel all of these cities are doing quite well you know they've got military units available everything is working we've got trade going I think this is all looking pretty decent um, let me see here are we going to build some roads so that we could yeah why not so we we might have a chance to go a little bit more uh, quickly let's go for Ganzorik um, if we do come uh, resource pots researched hmm solar collector another one um, uh, what I was saying is these roads could help me in case the Brazilians decide to, to attack us again. We will also build the rocket battery over here. May just increase our defenses, so we'll see if that helps. And in the meantime, the mines have been made. So we'll go over here, see what we can make over there. And yep, yeah, there we go. Solar collector and I can launch him and we'll launch him above this city. And there we go, two solar collectors. A nice look at that cash flow. A unit needs orders. Uh, the roads are connected. Lovely, lovely. And well, we'll go over there. I think uh, you can take position over here. That sounds like a plan as well. Uh, should I maybe buy? Yeah, you know what? I do feel like, um, oh, unfortunately can't do that with these guys here. So we're going to move you over there, still in my territory. And I'm going to purchase another missile rover. Just in case we do get into an attack situation, I've got some, some forces. Don't want to get caught with my pants down again. Oh, and after that I really need to actually get this guy to repair stuff here so we'll do that next actually so like that life is an inherently depreciating asset okay a biofactory requires a workable improved source of oil okay um, and yeah let me show you this is the current research state and look at this transgenics uh, allows the gene smelter building unlocks the Promethean wonder required to complete the transcendency victory and I could start that research it's gonna take a long time but I'm going to just go for that we'll see what comes of it uh, over here again we can actually build a mine a mine cannot be outside of your territory Ooh, I, I thought I had it but I did not uh, farm seems to make sense here and off to explore we go keep trying to discover more of this territory that's all pretty interesting there we go rocket stuff will put you here and these marines you'll go there and that's a little bit more army stuff available uh, farm lab, four turns, more health. Yeah, I need it, I need it. So let's keep going here. Uh, you are going over here from what I've uh, asked you last time. So that we can actually repair this stuff as well. Plus 34. That's looking pretty good in my opinion. Um, the question is of course if they... 
come at me with technologically superior units, I may be in trouble. We will see. Like that, and hmm, that's actually enemy territory. Uh, but no, he can't do it. That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, road should be completed, so we will also build a road here. You can fortify, no problem, so can you. And here we have a repair improvement. Buton and another pot. Okay, resource pot discovered, pretty good. One of my agents here is going to try and establish a network. Alright, and next turn once again. And so we are going straight for transgenics. Transgenics for a gene smelter. And the Promethean Wonder. I wonder what all of that stuff does, but that's the gamble I'm, uh, I'm playing here. That that is actually going to pay off. Hopefully all of this trade is helping me as well. And no way through here, unfortunately. Hmm, okay. Um, the sea is closest on the other side. Here again, lots and lots of aliens. Let's see if I can avoid them just a little bit, not to antagonize them. But that's a nice little flat island for, for another city. If only I would get my my health situation under control. I'm really not sure what I could do about that. And ooh, that, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> aliens in, in like a little farmed area with uh, water or whatever it is they drink yeah that's pretty cool and we are going over here as quickly as possible and try and go around those guys all right let's see if those has noticed something strange nearby it could be a ruin some sort of wreckage or perhaps alien in nature you should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if there is Okay, unfortunately he can't really do that, I think. A unit needs orders. Uh, road is done. Yes, it is. And I still won't be able to do that upgrade. Which is quite annoying. Um, and that won't be too long. Let me see. Well, over here. I could... Um, a generator. Why not? And we still need to repair this one here. That's all looking pretty good, honestly. Next turn, we've got some stuff that's being built as well. Including some defenses that have been asked for by a lot of my uh, advisors for a long time. So let's get that going. And my trade convoys. Oh, I can actually build one. So let's do that. The aliens, they seem to be pretty okay with everything that I'm doing here. Uh, let's build that here. Next. Alright, we've got Mass Digester. What does that do? Plus energy from Tundra for grower specialist slots. Not sure what that does. We get a network for science. Ultrasonic fins of course, but that all seems to be doing quite okay. Miasmic Repulsor. I don't think I need that. Um, let's go for the network. And over here, anything that will give me a health? No, I'm at 9, which is good, but let's go for a recycler then. Uh, and let me also show you one thing here. Uh, alien hybridization allows units to heal in miasma. So that's actually not a bad thing, a bad perk to have if I, if I would be able to go that route. Uh, that's all looking pretty good. And here the next in Tiangong. God, I, I almost want to make it a settler and just go for it. I, I almost think that that could be worth it. But I'm not sure. The health situation is, is a worry, to be honest. Ooh, here we go, another tile captured. Uh, I can go on, on the seas. And this one will be next. Full development is happening here. That's like, oh, there's actually bugs there too. Let's move some troops in. And then let's move some troops in. Choose production. Let me see here. An explore is two turns. I actually think it's, it's going to be worth it. Um, the reason is 
th that guy is probably on his last expedition and so if I do discover something else I may want an extra explorer just in case so we'll take it and let's hope yeah that these defenses can help I'm not sure that about that myself but we'll see yeah oh they're aggressive Oh, and they're gonna be pretty aggressive right there. God damn it. Not what I wanted. So I actually think... Um, a generator is good here. That retreating, leaving them alone is going to be the better idea. What I can do is probably try oops, and purchase something like that uh, so that he can get to work on that all right so that's looking okay and uh, let's let's leave the aliens alone for now i want them to become friendly to me uh, which is not easy because uh, they do want to attack my guys quite often but the situation does seem to have calmed down i mean he sends these these guys here once in a while i have important information for you let me see here. Choose operation. Yeah, siphon some more of that. Bring in the signs, bring in the money. Uh, lab for turns. I think that makes sense. Industrial development. Ongoing projects that converts 25% of that to energy. To science. Okay, I understand. Um, a gunboat. You know what? We will make a gunboat. I could keep him around here. And I think that could be useful. And over here, old earth relic gives me extra culture, rocket battery, a trade post, of course. Try and trade even more for for growth. Could be good. Colonist six turns. You know what? We're just gonna make colonist. I don't have to use him right away. But I think that that could be a good idea. Here we're gonna build another road. And yeah, let's see if we can explore some more. Uh, you. You are who? Range attack, uh, fortify and heal. Yeah, they, they don't like me coming close to that alien nest here. So I'm going to respect that for now. Move stacked units. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, it's my explorer. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, any other place I could go? I could try and explore on this. This part there, but... At the moment, I actually don't feel it's that needed, so we're going to just uh, do nothing. Wait over there. All right, next turn. Expedition discovered the derelict settlement. The refugees, again refugees. I mean, it's good, but that does mean that I need to invest in tiles here again. Can I buy any of them? Return to the map. Oh no, it's because I'm on the next turn here. And so that's a lot of... Okay, that's interesting uh, for like a next game. That I keep getting those those refugees from from those pots. Uh, or And from those relics that I'm discovering. So it's something to keep in mind, I think. Let's also buy another tile here then. That's good for a mine. I think that makes sense to buy something like that. And over here we'll build another farm over here we'll build let's see we've got a farm here too yeah let's make that a bit more of a farmy district uh, you can fortify there for now until we find something for you to do and next turn okay seven for a gunboat seven for a network four for a lab and six for a colonist He, I don't really think, I mean, he could try it this way, but it's not going to be easy. And we grab that tile, which I think is pretty good. And we're going to try and head over there. So let's go. You are going to try and head over there. And then we can, yep, scout some more. Uh, with that done, let's go on this strange tile here you can fortify 
Next turn. It's all looking quite okay. My book at the moment. I'm not really sure if it's okay. But uh, I think it's pretty stable. Over here we're gonna put that one down. Like right in the middle of this island. We'll see what comes of that. No need to go for trades there. But I think it'll be okay. And look. Ooh, he does have like some see improvements on there so that's interesting next turn and um, yeah yeah okay I mean this, this is gonna be a huge investment look at that I'm only halfway there uh, but I'm hoping that it will be worth it to go straight for that so uh -huh. I can't I won't be able to pass there so I'll have to go through the sea once again and I can build a paddock here you are going to trade with Quien looks like a good trade route to me and deals have ended okay but I mean this looks pretty prosperous I've got good money I don't have that great health but I'll figure that out. Yeah, that there was this one perk from um, that gave me seven extra if I kept going into prosperity. So that could be something that could help. And all of this is looking uh, okay. Tiangong is growing quite nicely. Fifteen. How big is this? Twelve for Sidela. So that's his capital. So that's okay. Uh, oh, one of my covert agents is not doing anything. Two of them, in fact. Let's see if they can grab me some science. Always helpful to grab some science, I think. Choose production. Um, let me see. Only one of two. Yeah, so a trade convoy, I think, does make sense. Quest decision. Our rocket battery stands complete and yet it is not prepared to fire. It seems we have overestimated the amount of ignition gel required to launch. Uh, in what is certain at first, our ballistic thing she's reported the rockets are too explosive, would threaten the city's safety. However, the gel can be redistributed to either the payload or propulsion, thereby negating the risk and increasing the effectiveness. So plus, plus 5 city strength from rocket batteries or plus 1 city orbital strike range. I'm just going to go with strength um, that's defensive, uh, which is the nature I've chosen, I think. I'm not going to go all out with a weapons race or anything like that. Just get the cash flowing, invest all of that stuff like this I can do then, you know, buy all of these tiles to increase my, uh, my influence and improve stuff that way. Here, for instance, I could also buy that one. That looks pretty interesting. So let's also do that. And you can then make a plantation. Make a mine over there. We'll do a quick exploration of this small area here. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's all, it's all pretty quiet. But I feel that that's actually not a bad thing. Uh, considering the route I've chosen. And we are going straight into an advanced technology with um, with some of those winning aspects which I don't understand yet. So yeah, there you go guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.